50th episode, I decided to review some of the new Prince Caspian toys that just came out. So enjoy these first two reviews. First figure up is a Telmarine soldier. And uh, I got this guy just because um, I just love the design of the Telmarine so much. So. Me personally, it's just, I, I look at it and I just keep thinking, immortal, immortal. Immortals, immortals. <laughs> 300, this is true enough, but still a fine piece of design. Uh, I'm going to start by giving you, let me take off some of his... Armory. Some of his stuff here, so I can give you a, a good look at him. The mask is removable. And it's kind of bulky when you put it on. Uh, yeah, it is kind of bulky, and unfortunately it falls off fairly easily. Actually, you know, as long as you're not touching it, it stays on. It'll stay on. Yeah, it will generally stay on, but it has been known Unless already. Unless you're throwing it. Yeah, to yeah, well, yeah, don't throw it. <laughs> um, so you can see some of the detail here. One of the things, um, I'm very impressed with the, the detail on this figure for its size. You would not expect that kind of detail on its size. It looks yeah. medieval. Mm-hmm. Medieval. Ooh, um, clever. Uh, the, the switch on his back, right, right there, is what you pull for his action feature. Though it limits the posability of the You go figure. like that, and it makes it... Uh, and he has yeah. a little swishing action figure. Mask. Yes, and the mask just fall, fell off me doing that. So, uh, yeah, it's, it is known to fall off pretty frequently. Good luck. Plus the figure right there, he comes, here's his sword, which can go in his sheath. Let me put it in there. Reminds me of a pirate. <laughs> so as far as the design, this is a very nice figure. The action figure works well, although it has a... Uh, Posability issues. Yes. So, very well designed figure. Now, as far as posability, you can't really turn it... It's kind of hard to turn his head. You know, it makes the mask kind of loosen up, and then it can fall off. Um, his left arm can bend at the elbow. Uh, which is nice. So who's going to use the left arm? And then a uh, ball jointed shoulder, very nice. Uh, since the the crappy Hasbro figures did not have ball joints, so very, yeah, thanks a lot, Hasbro. Yeah, very happy that this line has um, ball joints. Who makes this? Uh, Play along toys. Oh. Now, uh, I I'm generally against action features in my toys because you know sometimes they're fun, but they tend to limit poseability, and such is the case with this one. This arm right here That's is completely true. dead. You just it's it just, just dead to it, me now. It just lies limp. You can't. You yeah, can't. don't try uh, doing that. Yeah, if you want to pose it like that, sometimes you can get him to balance, but it's you know it definitely limits poseability. And it, it, arm for the most part, pretty much, just kind of has to lie a limp, which is pretty disappointing. So pretty much, if you're in it to pose, don't get it. But if you're in it, you just mess around with it and get it. Mm-hmm. Uh, the his legs bend right here. Overall, this guy certainly has more posability than any of the Hasbro guys. Oh. And now you can see the Spanish He probably has more right posability there. in his right arm than the entire Hasbro Very impressed. You look has. at the detail in his armor and you can see the rivets on his uh, brigandine. That I'm just kind of blown away by such small figures and yet very detailed. For I mean, like you can size. even see the nails on his helmet and mm -hmm. chain mail. Let me stand this guy up here. Uh, this guy stands up pretty easily. Most of them do. Yeah, the only thing is you can't uh, repose his legs or bend them at all. It's just kind of how he is. Hmm. And, uh, well, that's what it's like with most of them. Let me take his sword out here. That's and, like uh, a pike axe thing. That's his shield right there. Which is stunningly familiar to the a shield. Well, of course. And it has a golden compass on it. It has a little clip right Maybe there. that's why they mistakenly stopped and he grips. The golden he can't really grip sword. a shield realistically. None of the figures can, unfortunately. England has a little spear mm, whatever. Uh, spike thing right here. It's called a pike axe. Yep. Whatever. Uh, okay. Something like that. Okay, let me get the shield. Kind of to fool around with it a little bit here. So. uh, y Yeah, we're having shield there. trouble. There he is again without his mask off. But uh, overall, I gotta say that the uh, uh, the Telmarine action figure, it, it's still a pretty good action figure, way better than anything Hasbro did. This is probably my least favorite, though, because of the uh, limited posability and the mask falling off easily. Keep the key. Uh huh, even so maybe even that. But uh, we'll get huh. to that later. And um, I, I, I love the detail in the armor, and, and that's one of the big pros about it, and it stands up really easily. But uh, this is probably my least favorite, mainly because it's the action feature. Well, it's, you know, pretty cool. And the mask is a yeah, little bit... Yeah, still, uh, it's really the misposability. Odd. So, uh, not bad. It, it's, it, this one's, this one's, it's a decent figure. Still glad I got it, because I just love the design. They really nailed the mold on this one. Really good design. Huh. But uh, this one's not my favorite. 
And here's Miraz. Super uh, Tamarine. Oh yeah, I've been looking forward to this figure for a long time. Ever since I saw, I think one of my first thoughts when I saw the first pictures of Miraz's armor was, oh man, I can't wait to get that action figure. By the way, there's a bit of a problem with the shoulder blade, so... Yeah, we, we will get into that. By the way, just to give you some reference, uh, here's one of the Hasbro toys. <coughs> uh, that piece of junk, you can see. You mean see. Aspen? Uh, really disappointing that... Um, I'll probably say this in every review, but it's really disappointing that the figures are a different scale, which means I can't pose them with my old ones. Let me show you the Disney store. Oh, come store. on, you're going to pose a... Well, let me show you what the... A Marine soldier with Aureus. <laughs> well, let me show you what... The, and there's the Disney store one right next to him. Uh, Miraz. Let me get the, about the ruler here. three and a third of an inch. Miraz. Nope, looks almost... Like, Miraz is about three and a half inches there. And uh, Peter six inches? is six inches. Five uh, the Peter over here is six inches. And five in the so uh, very disappointing that you can't pose any of these figures With together. With more bars and more places. Scales. But uh, as far as design, this guy is probably the best one of them all. You just take a look look at the, de yeah, and I the detail is on, in his armor. Yeah, this is his. He got it. <laughs> but but um, very impressive. You look at his mask. His mask is not removable, which I actually like. You'd like that too? Yes. I was never going to take off his mask anyway. I just want him in full battle. It's very true. You look at this, the detail on his armor. That's the button. Yeah, it's Japanese figure. on the bottom, actually. Or mm -hmm. It looks like a Japanese samurai tunic, almost. Posing. And uh, look at the sword here. You can see that the area... It's like a mix of a pirate a and... I don't gray know, mold sword. in there. But it does look like... The, it is supposed to look like the sword from the movie. It does. Actually. Yes, it does. There's a shield there, which is actually from an old concept design. Concept art. Yep, you, that was actually from uh, the concept art that uh, I, I saw on Progress. What shield do you prefer? I don't know. I think I like this one better. But the one that ended up in the film was round. A lot like the, Tel the one that came with the Telmarine soldier. I guess because so. it looks more like a compass. Although, strangely, the one that comes with the Peter Miraz 2-pack has a round shield, which is actually correct. So it's kind of I odd. know, but I think they, they don't put as much detail in the eyes. I mean, he has yellow eyes in the 2-pack mm -hmm. from what I've seen. So, uh, as far as design, flawless. Got to give this guy two thumbs up for design. Now, uh, a couple... His action features do not even interfere with his... Uh, yes, uh, we'll get to that in a second. But uh, this... You're knocking out the left shoulder blade. I've always yeah, uh, one blade. of the problems with this guy is the, sh the shoulder things tend to come off pretty easily if you're uh, playing around with them. Fortunately, they're made of rubber, so they're less likely to break. But the, the, his uh, pauldrons, I believe they're called, those shoulder pad things... Whatever. Uh, it's not happening here, but after yeah, a while... Yeah, I know, but he can also do an uppercut with his shield. Yeah, it's fairly easy to accidentally knock him off. That's but it doesn't matter, because uh, unless you have come golden right carpet off. or tile, it'll be pretty easy to find. Until the guys to come right off. Yes, that's true. <laughs> um, and uh, so that's the only negative, but this guy, I think that the main reason I say that this guy is the best toy is because he, he, he has... First off, he has... Two, and I'm generally... I said this in the last review. I'm generally against action features. Because uh, they tend to limit posability. Here's this guy's action figure. But it figure. doesn't with this dude. Mm -hmm. uh, you, you, you pull this. He even has two. Pull that lever right there. And it makes him go up and down. I can't really do that much. But it's still pretty cool. Then what, and the other one is, what do you do? He, yeah, if you That's it. Runner, yeah. You go. He goes. Whoosh, whoosh, you just oh, like you get the idea. Spring loaded there. And uh, two action figures. And yet they don't limit posability at all. I guess it makes it. Well, it means you can't turn his waist that way. That's well, it doesn't matter. That's the only one. But I'm very impressed. Two action figures, but doesn't limit posability at all. For that reason, I say this guy is the best. And the, and the design looks flawless. Looks exactly like he does you in the movie. You can even see his hair. That's right. Very, once again, very impressed for its size. Very impressed with the detail of this figure. So I'm going to say that... Uh, it the, also looks like a Spanish So I'm going to say that the Miraz action figure is... Uh, the bomb. The best one that I have seen so far. And uh, the reason I didn't, the reason he got one and I didn't is because I'm hoping to get one. From hope, the Disney store. Hoping to get a Disney store exclusive. I know, but they're 15 Miraz. bucks, so I just as soon get that guy. And by the way, ball joints in both shoulders. Ah! Very cool. Stop that. Really, really get, really enables you to get him into some cool poses. So, that's the Miraz figure right there. I give him two big thumbs up. Uh, the, the only downside is that, yeah, the shoulder things come off kind of easily. And the waist. And his size. But uh, gotta give this guy two thumbs up. I think he's a great figure.